Welcome to another episode of Travel Isn't Expensive. You are, my name is Jay. Thank you for joining me. Tonight's topic is going to be one that's fresh on my mind because I was just in New York City enjoying the benefit of the credit, the credit card benefit that I'm gonna be talking about, which is free anniversary nights with hotel credit cards. To me, these are really important because they are the main way that a credit card's um, annual fee is offset. So if, there, if, the, if the annual fee is $100, but you're gonna be able to get three, $400 worth of value from just that one part of the, one benefit of the card, that could make it worth it right there. So let's go through a couple of the brands. Actually, I believe all of them. I looked through all the credit cards uh, for hotels that were like the main brands. And I think I found all the ones that offer this specific or specific benefit. So let's go through those real quick. Starting with, let's do the one I just enjoyed, which was IHG. IHG has a few different credit cards, but only one of them has a free night on the anniversary. That's their premier card. It carries an $89 annual fee and it uh, every on your anniversary, so not the first year when you first get the card, but every anniversary thereafter, you get a credit for a property that it goes up to any property in the um, portfolio that goes up to 40,000 points per night. A few examples of this would be the Intercontinental in Vienna and the Intercontinental in Lisbon, both lovely properties. Moving on to Hilton, Hilton's a little different because it only offers a an actual um, anniversary night if you like you did nothing else besides pay the annual fee and, and whatever, you would still get an annual um, anniversary free night. And that's their, their top card, the Aspire. $450 annual fee, but it has an unrestricted weekend um, anniversary free night. Reading from a Point Sky article, it says that there's only about uh, 40 specific properties that are excluded, including all-inclusive resorts and many Hilton Grand Vacations or other distinctive resorts in the program. Otherwise, it's completely unrestricted except for it has to be on a weekend night, which is a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Moving on to Hyatt. The World of Hyatt credit card has an $89 annual fee and then has a annual um, free night that is good for any properties that are a category one through four. So some examples are the Andaz property in Costa Rica, which is amazing. I have high hopes to go there. Or right here in Philly, we have the Bellevue Hotel. Both of these properties cost well over the $95 of the annual fee. And the Andaz property in Costa Rica is w normally it's over $500. So that's quite a value for that one for, for one night. And then just so you know, a category one to four, four is 15,000 points. And Hyatt is a transfer partner for Chase. So all of your Chase points, if you have any, the Sapphire, the preferred, you can transfer over and use your points there. Let's keep it moving. Marriott has a couple of different options. It actually has four cards because it has the SPG cards and the Marriott cards. So let me, forgive me while I read for a second. So actually, I'm sorry, there's five cards with free nights. I forgot the luxury card. So you have the Starwood Preferred Guest, which is SPG, credit card, normal one, SPG Business, SPG, I'm sorry, Marriott Premier Plus credit card, and the uh, Marriott Business Premier Credit Card. Those ones all have a free night with the category one to five, which I think is 35,000, let me double check, yes. Except for the luxury card, which is the $450 annual fee, it's their premium card, and that one goes up to 50,000 points. Marriott, I wouldn't even go through it because Marriott has so many properties, and it may, they make it really easy to find them because on the website you can just search by category, filter it through, um, just search by cost of whatever, like how many points it takes for a night, and you can find all the ones that cost 35,000 unless you have the uh, the luxury card and then you can go down to, or go up to 50,000 points. That's it. So if you're looking for a, a hotel credit card to maximize some of the benefits that you have, uh, getting you some status or um, ability to earn extra points or something like that, and you have a property or you have a hotel chain that you particularly enjoy, definitely grab their credit card, offset with the annual fee, all enjoy those other benefits. It's usually for most of these cards, it's a no brainer. My question to you is which hotel chain is your favorite and why? I think that's it, let me double check. Thank you for watching.